Hello there, and welcome to a very special episode of Magic the Gathering. That's right, not daily magic, but just Magic the Gathering. For today is the release of Phyrexia. All will be one. And I thought I'd do, you know, like I said, a special episode going through uh, the packs that you that you get if you pre-order the thing. So that's, what, 50 packs for us to open. And, yeah, just look look through a few things. See what's new. See what's new. So let's go ahead and get into it. I will say, naturally, that, do, that does mean we'll, we will not be um, doing any matches in this episode. I do apologize. But because this is going to be long enough as it is. Um, so. Uh, let's go through let's go through the messages real quick. What is this? Uh, oh, well, that's very nice. Give us an additional three packs. We will take those and the new lands. Oh, those are nice. I like those. Yeah, those are nice. So there's that. Nice, very nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if the stores offer anything, any, anything cool, anything new. Um, <laughs> so just um, immediately another style for that card. Um, new styles for the lands that exist, which I might I might pick that up. That's pretty cool looking. Though these are nice too. So naturally, yeah, just kind of the the normal stuff. Um, new new avatars um that's yeah Vraska, nisa naha nahiri i think is the that one's pretty cool i might have to look into that one. that one i like that one um what else what else oh new um yeah obviously um card styles for them. I don't particularly like those because they their writing is in Phyrexian. Just doesn't really interest me that much. Pet of the month is a puppet. Okay. Um, yeah, these are all pretty cool. Alright, so. Hmm. Oh, let's look at our daily deals real quick just to see. Obviously, is that... Oh, yeah, these are all new cards. Whispered one. Yeah, these are all card styles for new cards, I think. Oh, these are cool. Huh. Yeah, those are all really cool. But again, they're all in Phyrexian, which... I don't know, I don't really care for that. But, eh. To each their own. Alright, well, without without further ado, let's, let's get into some card opening. Some pack openings. So, yeah, we do have some golden packs. These will just be, like, six rares with a chance of a mythic. Uh, from I think pretty much any set. So let's go let's go ahead and open these first. And then we'll get to the 53 Phyraxian. Do get some new cards though. Oh, we got a new card. Uh, Dragonwing Glider. It's a five cost, three colorless, two red. Uh new ability for more Okay, uh when this equipment enters the battle, you create a two two red rebel. Then attach this to it. Oh, Oh, no wonder. Uh, no, okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I like that. That turns that token into a 4-4 flyer with haste. That's pretty cool. And then you can equip that to something else is, if you want. Okay. That's not bad. Another new card up here. Vincer Corpse Puppet. Corpse Puppet. Yeah, this Toxic. I have saw this at one point. The new ability Toxic. A player dealt damage... Dealt combat damage by a creature with to toxic also gets a poison counters equal to the number's total to toxic value. Uh, with 10 or more toxic counters, loses the game. So we have a new win condition. I, I don't think, actually, no, that's not new. I think that um, Ajani, I think, had that, the Planeswalker, uh, when they introduced with Donari United. I think he had something to do with poison counters. So that's pretty cool. And what is proliferate? Um, I don't see where that is. Oh, when you choose, uh, whenever you proliferate, choose one. But to proliferate, you choose any number of permanents and or players, then give each number, each another counter 
Okay, that took me a second. Uh, let me try that again. Choose any number of permanents and or players, then give each then give each another counter for of each kind already there. So if they have a plus one plus one counter, you give them another one. If they have a poison counter, you give them another one. Okay, and then for this card, uh, for Vincere, whenever you do that, uh, you can choose one of these. If you don't control a creature named the Hollow Sentinel, create the Hollow Sentinel. Okay. Or target artifact creature you control gains flying and lifelink until end of turn. So, so essentially create that next turn, do the thing, and then make it flying of lifelink. That's a pretty cool card. And another one, this is a land. A sphere? Hmm. Uh, okay, so color, add colorless. Add one man of any color. Activate only. Oh, interesting. So you can only do. It can only act. It can only give color, colored mana if it was put in that turn. And for three and tap and create a one one fire X and might artifact creature token with toxic one. And this creature can't block. Okay. And we don't really care about this one. <laughs> we don't really care about that one. All right. Bloodthirsty Adversary. That is my first time getting this card. Okay, I'm I'm happy with that. Now I don't have to waste. You know, I could never I could never um, justify using Mythic Rares on this card for whatever reason. Now that I have it, I'm probably going to be updating some uh, my the, my mono red aggro deck potentially. But anyway, next one. This is probably going to be a pretty long episode. Okay, I'm getting a lot of cards that I from the older sets that I did not have before, like Florian. Uh, there's a vampire. There's a you know obviously a red black vampire deck that has him as its centerpiece. Aster bearer of blades. I think he's pretty good. And, uh, you may reveal equipment or vehicle card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest at the bottom of your library. Equip equipment control. Have equip one. Oh wow. Okay, so he's definitely like, hey, if you're running an equipment deck, you have to have this guy on your team. You have to have him in your deck. Okay, Phyrexian Vindicator. Four white, nice. Um, flying, five, it's a four, five, five, wow. If damage would be dealt to Vindicator, prevent that damage. When damage is prevented this way, deals that much damage to... Are you serious? That is a powerful card. It turns him into an amazing blocker. Because you will you can block something, something that wouldn't typically kill it. Unless, I'm curious, if something would kill it, would you, would that still work? I don't, I don't know, that's interesting. Another new card, Maze Crusher. Ooh, one of our first. Uh, enters the battlefield with five oil counters. Want for one, remove an oil counter. It gains vigilance, menace until end of turn. For two, remove two oil counters. Gets a plus two, plus two. And for removing three, how did it starts with five? Okay. Remove three, destroy target artifact. So like, so from what I'm seeing here, the um, the play is you you use it, and then you do the one and two. Uh, to remove three counters, but it gets Vigilance, Menace, plus two, plus two, making it a 6-6 six, six attacker that has Vigilance and can't be blocked if they have uh, if they don't have two creatures to block it. That's okay. I like that. That's interesting. Eh. <laughs> eh. For each counter on it, that's, I mean, that's actually not that bad. That's pretty cool. Uh, isn't a plane walker and is a creature in addition to its other types. Huh. So you can equip it to a planeswalker. That's interesting. So you can equip that. So this is what I understand here. You can equip that to a planeswalker, turning them into turning them into a, um, an attacker or uh, into a creature where I assume their loyalty counters is what determines their power. Okay. 
And that's why you can still use your loyalty. Oh, that's interesting. Can't say I've ever seen that used in, used in a deck, though. I've never seen that used against me. And that's an older card at this point. Okay, nothing... Oh, we got another, we got another Maze Crusher. That's awesome. I'll take that. Because I'll definitely use that for something. That's pretty cool. Ooh, one of our first white black. Battle Cry. Um, what is that? Whenever you, this creature attacks, each other attacking creature is plus one until end of turn. Nice. That's nice. Uh, but at the beginning of combat on your turn, the next time target creature would deal combat damage to one or more players. This combat prevent that damage. If damage is prevented this way, create that many one one. Oh, interesting. And Zenith Chronicler. Chronicler. Uh, oh, okay. Hmm. So that's actually not bad, like if you're running a mono deck, so you don't benefit your opponent. Hmm. Iker Moon? Oh, it's, well, it's a new card. Uh, uh, Planeswalkers you control have zero. At zero, proliferate. And minus 12, take an extra turn after this. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, interesting. All right, let's get into the next one. Let's see. Another new card, Sulfim. Uh, you control would deal non-combat damage to an opponent or a permanent an opponent controls. It deals double that damage to that player or permanent instead. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. A lot of like alternate damage I'm seeing for some of these cards. Uh, seed core, corrupt, uh, target one one. Okay. And then I've seen this card um, used before. Note your life total. At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card. If your life total is greater than or equal to the last. Then uh, when you cast a white spell, you gain one life. Wow, <laughs> that's a that is a life gain card if I've ever seen one, or for a life gain deck. Sean, I have this card. Okay. All right, last of the golden packs. I'm liking all, I'm, I'm liking all the new cards we've been getting. Uh, Red Sun's Twilight Sorcery. Destroy up to X target artifacts. If X is five or more, for each artifact destroyed this way, create a token that's a copy of it. Those tokens gain haste. Exile them. At the oh, wow. So this is a big, like, screw you to uh, token decks, or to uh, artifact decks. Wow. Gra Graz. Graz. Yeah. Juggernauts who control attack each combat if able. So there's multiple Juggernauts that I have not seen yet. Um, you control can't be blocked by walls. Oh, interesting. So a Juggernaut is a counter to wall cards. It makes me think that there might be some walls that I've not seen yet. Uh, you control have base power times 5-3 and are Juggernauts. Wow. No wonder it's an 8 cost. That is an extremely powerful card. Uh, Demonic Bargain. It's an older card. 13 cards in your hand. Then search your library for a card. Put that card in your hand. Then shuffle. Why? What is the point of that? I'm not well versed on that stuff. But why? Okay. Invoke Calamity. Uh, you may cast up to 2 up to two instants and or sorcery spells with total mana value 3 or less from your grave and or hand without paying their mana costs. If these spells would be put into your graveyard, so it's like pay five to cast six, essentially. Okay. And then Joda. A card I will never use because I don't like five card. There are five color decks. Okay. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to open 
three cards. We're going to open three packs normally just to get down to 50. And then I'm going to go open 10 at a time just looking at the top card. And then we'll go into like my card library to see what new cards we got. Just to kind of speed this up a little bit. So, first one. All right. Let's see. Da, da, da. I, honestly, I don't really want to read through all these, but um, it, enchant basic land you control. Enter the battlefield, exile target creature or planes. We're going to put up controls. So it's you enchant a land with this. Okay, that's strange, but okay. Uh, Lattice blade mantis. Enters the battlefield with two oil counters on it. Oil seems to be a yeah. That's a new mechanic. Uh, uh, attacks. You may remove an oil counter from it. If you do, untap it, and it gets a plus one plus one. That's pretty good. You can only do that twice though, but still. Sometimes that's all you need. Hazardous Blast for four. Deals one damage to each creature your opponent controls. Creatures your opponent control can't block this turn. So not only are you deal, you deal damage, which depending on what you're up against could kill a fair few, they also can't block. It's not bad. Glad Fleshless Gladiator, that's terrifying. Uh, corrupted, which... Uh, return from the graveyard to the battlefield tapped. You lose one life. Activate only if your opponent has three or more poison counters. That's what the corrupted is, I guess. Like, your opponent has to have X number of poison counters for your corrupted ability to work. Axiom Engraver. Enters the battlefield with two oil counters on it. Uh, remove an oil counter. Discard a card. Draw a card. Okay. Complete Devotion. Target plus one or plus two plus two until end of turn. If that creature has toxic, draw a card. Okay. Interesting. Oh man, mythic mythic rare. Nice. I was like, wait a second, I forgot that. Okay. Offer immortality. Target creature gains death touch. Indestructible. That's not bad for two. That's not bad. Um, prolonged. That. It's a po each opponent gets a poison counter. Draw a card. No, well, it's just okay. Hmm. For Mirrodin. Plus one, plus one. So basically, they've added in a lot of like artifact equipment that automatically equips itself to something, which is pretty cool. Okay, that makes a lot more sense for the uh, new Red Planeswalker and his and their ability. So I might have to look into modifying a mono red deck to be a mono red equipment deck that'd be kind of cool but this is white this is no, that's true this is red white or this artifact is a white card so hmm. thirsting root choose one search your library for a basic land card reveal it put it in your hand and shuffle proliferate okay so i can see a lot of I can see a lot of combos here. A lot with like poison counters proliferate makes you makes your opponent have more poison counters. Uh, creature control with plus two plus two until end of turn. Whenever a creature blocks his turn, its controller gets a poison counter. Oof! Wow. Uh, target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. Each opponent gets poison counter. Poison counters for the win. Filigree Silex. Put an oil counter on that. Sacrifice it. Destroy each non-land permanent with mana value equal to the number of oil counters. Remove 10. Uh, till damage to any target. 10 damage to any target. Nice. Alright, next one. Okay, Necrogen Rot Priest. Terrifying. Toxic 2. Uh, you control with toxic deals combat damage to a player. That player gets an additional poison counter. Uh, and then for that, target you control with toxic against death touch. Nice. Okay. Enchant creature you control. Uh, enchant has toxic too. Return th that card to the battlefield under your control. Oh, wow. Okay. And. Da, 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 enters the battle enters the battlefield tap enchanted creature uh, then proliferate enchanted creature doesn't doesn't untap during so it's like hey 
Okay, so that's a that's a use on your opponent is what that is. Okay. Volt charge, three damage to any target, proliferate. <laughs> okay. Uh, new uh, branch blight stalker, toxic two. It's a three one with toxic two. That's not bad. Basilica shepherd. Uh, when enters the battlefield, create two one one colorless mites artifact, toxic one, and this creature can't block. Okay. Word two, as long as is equipped, it gets a plus one plus one. So as long as it has something equipped to it, it gets the the benefits of the equipment and a plus one plus one. Nice. Okay. Uh, I can't. So it can't block for Phyrexian mana. <laughs> That's what they're calling that now. Uh, choose a color, another target creature you control gains toxic one and hexproof from that color, from that hexproof from that color until end of turn. You, it can't be blocked by creatures of the color. Okay. All right. Well, that that's those three. Now we're gonna do ten at a time. Just like like I said to speed this up because I know this can probably be pretty boring. So. All right. These are all the top cards we got. Two, three. Wow, we got three um, Planeswalkers. Got a second Jace from the... Which we got... Okay. Awesome. What does she do? Until your next turn, up to one target creature attacks a player. Each combat if, if able. Okay. I'm not quite sure I understand. Wait. Until your next turn, up to one target creature attacks a player. Oh. Okay, no, I see what I can do with that. You could force a, you could force them to attack with a card that you want to get rid of if you have like something you can block it with, or you can discard a card, draw a card, and for zero, uh, does that mana value less than her loyalty from your graveyard? Create a token that's a copy of it. That token gains haste. Exile at the beginning of your next turn. Okay, so a red white equip equipment deck potential potentially. Uh, Luca bound to ruin. Add red and green. Spend this mana only to cast creatures or activate abilities of creatures. Minus one. Create a 3-3 three, three green Phyrexian Beast creature token with Toxic 1. That's great. Um, no wonder he's a 5 cost. And for minus four, deals X damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers where X is the greatest power among the creatures you control. That can be terrifying. Hmm. Sacrifice an artifact, add a number of red equal to uh, sacrificed artifacts mana value. Spend the mana only to cast artifacts or activate abilities of artifacts. <laughs> Two of you, that's interesting. Add more creatures you control die. Each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. This ability triggers once each turn. Thrun, Breaker of Silence, Troll. I was going to say, what is that? Can't be countered. Okay. Uh, can't be the target of non-green spells your opponent your opponent's control or abilities from non-green sources your opponent so it's like protection against everything except green wow and as long as it's my turn it's indestructible that's insane there's a lot of really powerful cards i'm seeing um a living cure if you would Get one or more poison counters. Instead, you get one poison counter, and you can't get additional poison counters. This turn. See, here's your yeah. Here is your distinct counter to poison. Okay. Anyway, choose another target. I don't want to put it into a graveyard this turn. Return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. And then nice. Oh, they brought back the control two two or fewer other lands. Thank you. Because I, I prefer I prefer that. Okay. Next ten. Another planeswalker, cool. Um, those are all interesting. Hmm. I'll deal combat damage to a player. You may return one of them to its owner's hand. Uh, if you do, you may activate loy. You may activate loy twice this turn. Okay. Put uh, up to one target creature you can't attack or block until your next turn. So it's good to say, hey, this one can't do that draw a card 
Uh, create a colorless drone artifact creature token with death touch, and when this creature leaves the battlefield, each opponent loses two, and you gain two. Nice. Not gonna, I'm not gonna read all of these. <laughs> it's just a lot of. It's just, it's a lot. Oh, 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 oh wow. Oh, green's going back to big monsters. Trample Ward 4, Haste Toxic 4. The spell can't be countered. Wow. Oh, that's terrifying, but it's a 7 cost. But, wow. Oh, I love that. I'm definitely going to have to take some time to build some new decks to see what's available. That's cool. Wow. All right. Hey, green's going back to big creatures. I love it. Okay. First strike and death touch. Deals combat damage to a player. Choose one. Draw a card. You lose, a you lose life. Destroy target enchantment. Um, remove up to three counters from target permanent. Okay. Well, that could be interesting. Man. Yeah, this Phyrexian all will be one. Big creatures. Four oil. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove an oil counter. Then if it has no on it, you lose you lose the game. Ugh, no. No, that's terrible. That gives that puts you on a four turn a four turn clock. I mean I get it's a four cost six six with flying, but still that puts you on a four turn clock. <laughs> huh. Uh, we're until the end, where X is the number of equipped creatures you control. So this is a pretty pretty powerful card to have um, for an equipment deck. So yeah, it looks like a red-white equipment deck is what I'm seeing. Okay. All right. Next 10. I think I'm just going to point out the ones that catch my attention. Um, nothing really here. There's a few. I mean, we've got some interesting lands, which is not bad, but eh. I'd rather have I'd rather have cards, you know what I mean? Though it is nice to get these now so I don't have to waste rare wild cards on them, but still. Okay. Next. Ooh. Rare wild card and a mythic, nice. Another land. A lot of cards I'm seeing before. Rex is cool. Monument of perfection. Okay. A uh, blade of <laughs> And this is a blue that does that has the four Mirrodin. Okay. And last ten. Okay. Oh we got him. Nice. I was hoping I was hoping we would get Koth. This is the planeswalker I was talking about. And so yeah, search your library for a basic mountain card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle. Uh, deals damage to target creature equi equal to the number of mountains you control. That's pretty cool. Uh, you get an emblem with whenever a mountain enters the battlefield under your control. This emblem deals four damage to any target. That is insane. He is yeah. He is def. This card is definitely for a, a mono red uh, land deck. That that's pretty cool. Hmm. Got another Jace. I think that puts me at four for Jace or three three. Anyway. White Sun. There's a lot of cool cards. Alright, well, that's... That is the packs. Um, let's see. There. Phyraxian. How do I... There we go. Oh, no, that's too, too much. But yeah, we got a lot of interesting cards. A lot of cards we didn't see. Um, like, if you want to read any of them, I'll just, like, pause here for a moment but I don't really let's just kind of go through them these are a lot got a lot of new whites which is cool a lot of ones of them a couple maybe two of a couple um, interesting yeah, like, like I said I'm gonna have to like I'm gonna have to sit down and build build a deck from some of this stuff um, but that'll take a little while you, you won't you really won't see any new decks for a few for a little while but but interesting definitely might want to look into making a new white deck make a new mono white 
Okay. Well, I'm, like I said, I'm just going to kind of speed... Yeah, so we are at three with Jace. I'm going to try to maybe speed through this a little bit. Blue seems to go with a lot of horror cards, which is interesting. Okay. Black definitely is or a lot of toxic. Interesting. This is gonna be interesting. I don't yeah, I don't really know what to say. This is gonna be interesting. Thankfully a lot of these are uncommons, which I have a lot of. A lot of commons and uncommons. Koth is cool. Alright. Right now we're into green at the end of it. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. That's all. I know I keep saying that, but the multicolors. Okay. Well, that yeah, that's okay. That's pretty cool. So, how many did that put us at? Ten rares, four mythics. I could yeah, I could do some stuff. <laughs> uh, the other thing I wanted to look at was kill opponents. Two blue, two green, two white. Um, okay. Let's look at yeah. Let's look at the um. Let's look at this. This so this is our new mastery pass. Obviously, this stuff you get for free. This stuff you had to pay for, um, which is which is fine. A lot of interesting stuff though. So more packs, more gold, set mastery stuff, mythics, early mythics, nice. Um. Not a whole lot of interesting stuff. Again, just more packs. I was trying to see like what the so you get new new mites. I'm seeing as you go. Um, mite overseer, interesting. Like I said, new cards. Serum sovereign. Can't really read read that very well with how small it is. Okay. Yeah. Standard standard stuff. From what I'm seeing, but here's your, yeah, here's the um, seasons dynamic card, which is pretty cool. Goliath hatchery, a lot of high cost stuff. All right, well, yeah, I mean that's that, that's a lot to go on. There's a lot of cool stuff coming out. That's a lot of cool stuff. Like so I'm gonna have to take some time to uh, really like thoroughly look at some decks that um, a lot of the deck building sites are putting together uh, with with a new set I'm I don't know the cards well enough and I don't I don't I can't take the time to really sit down and look at it all to formulate a, a good deck but we'll get there eventually so that is gonna wrap it up for this nice little special episode of uh, deck op or pack opening episode I know no matches today but this is already at 30 minutes so so yeah so that's where we're going to cut it here. If you enjoyed this uh, special episode, please uh, hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to the channel to uh, stay up to date when I release new content. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you like this, kind of this format? I'm trying to do it for like whenever a new set comes out, I'll do a special episode, but just for like a pack opening. But yeah, so let me know if you like if you like this this idea. But anyway, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.